Hey beautiful people, welcome to Learning with Violet to Color Chat. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at nutritional assessment. Nutritional assessment is a skill, it's one of the skills in your OSCE exam. But before we look at nutritional assessment, guys, I'm super excited. I am so happy. You won't believe it, guys. I got over 15 emails in less than two days. Nurse Violet, thanks for your help. I passed your old ski exam. Now, this morning, I'm going to read this one to you. This one was sent this morning. His name is Edore Promise. Kudos to you, Promise. I'm so proud of you. He says, hello, Violet. Thank you for your amazing old ski videos. I use your videos on YouTube to prepare for old ski. And I pass without sponsorship, no additional training slash class. I was all by myself. Initially, I was almost discouraged, thinking I could not do it. But your YouTube channel really went a long way to encourage me. Thank you very much once again. Bless you, promise. I'm so excited. This one is from Lizo Renz. I wouldn't read it because of time. This one is from Anna. This one is from Millicent. And this one is from Favor. Oh my God, guys. There are lots who sent me emails, but these are the ones I could pick on this morning who said they passed their OSCE exam. Now, if you are writing your OSCE soon, you are definitely passing. I keep saying it. OSCE is simple and nurses are brilliant. All you need to do for me is practice with your marking criteria. So if you are watching videos, you are watching them alongside with your marking criteria. This with your friends. And of course, if you don't understand anything, always ask. All right, guys. So without wasting any of your time, let's dive directly into our topic for today. But if this is your first time, my name is Violet Okolocha. I've had thousands of nurses pass their OSCE exam in one sitting. So do well to like this video, do well to share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to the topic for today. <music> Ryan Little. <laughs> so guys, nutritional assessment is a skill in your OSCE exam. The time allocated to the station is eight minutes. Eight minutes. That's the time allocated to the station. Now, this station is a silent station and a verbalization station. It is silent because when you get to your OSCE exam, your assessor runs you through. Your next station is going to be nutritional assessment. You have your scenario there. You have all your documents. So she runs you through. Now, when you finish your nutritional assessment, the step five of it is now verbalization. You have to tell the patient your plan of action all right so you get all your most documents this is one of the docs so you get all your most documents and you get your scenario so now i would give you a working class scenario we will do that today and i will give you an assignment now look at our scenario for today mrs ailey is an 82 years old lady who is very free due to her age and end stage copd our height is 1.62 meters and our weight is 72 kg she has lost around 10 percent of body weight in the last two months and she has not been on well now somebody will say as well this is too straight to the point yes Nutritional assessment comes in different scenario in your OSCE exam. Some are straight to the point. So this is a likely exam scenario. The one I'll be giving you as assignment or as a classwork is also a likely exam scenario. Now, these scenarios are likely scenarios. What do I mean by that? Even if they are formulated scenarios, you are going to get exactly similar scenarios in your OSCE exam. Now, let's answer this. So now, our assessor has given us the scenario. This is our working scenario. Now, these are our documents we need to use to answer the words, the scenario. So now, they said she is an 82 years old lady who is very free due to her age and end stage copd our height is 1.62 meters and our weight is 72 kg so the first step is step one 
and step one is bmi score so let's calculate our height and our weight and we have what we have the bmi charts so now our height is 1.62 meters and our weight is 72 kg so if you trace it 1.62 meter to 72 kg for our step one which is the bmi score bmi chart so looking at our bmi chart height 1.62 meter weight 72 kg our bmi from the bmi chart is seven is what is 27 so our bmi is 27 and 27 falls on what score zero 27 falls on what score zero now let's look at our step one so that we can answer it so that we can circle it on step one the first one says over 20 zero what is the patient's bmi it is what 27 so the answer is we have to circle zero so i have circled now let's move over to step two step two is weight loss score on planned weight loss in the last three to six months step two is weight loss score on planned weight loss in the last three to six months and again in our scenario they said she has lost around 10 percent of body weight i repeat she has lost around 10% of body weight. Now, for step two, less than 5% is zero. Did our patient lost less than 5%? No. We were told that she has lost around 10% of body weight. Now, the second one says between 5 to 10% is one. So our answer is here because we are told our patient has lost around 10% of body weight in the last two months. So again, I come here and I circle what? And I circle one. Now, step three is what? Acute disease effect score. Step three is what? acute disease effect score and for step three they said if the person is acutely ill and there has been slash is likely to be no nutritional intake for more than five days so what this what this means is for a person to have a score in acute disease effect the person must be acutely ill one or the person must have not eaten for five days now from what is in our scenario we we'll are told that she has not been unwell so she's not scoring anything for step three because they said what she has not been unwell do you understand so it means our patient is what is well the next thing i will do now is to total my more score zero for step one one for step two and zero for step three so my total more score will be what will be one so after totaling my total more score i'll write my dates today is what i think today is um come on come on come on 24th no 23rd and the time the time i'm doing this video is 1600 and my signature Step four is what I have done. Step four is to add my score together. And I've added my score together. And I'm having a more score of one. So I've done step four. Now, the final step, which is the verbalization step, is step five. So I have to use the management guidelines. Now, look at the management guidelines. The management guidelines is... Mrs. Sally, you are having what we call medium risk malnutrition because you are having what a more score of one. So this is the verbalization aspect. I'm saying it out. I've, I've been silent all through for my step one, for my step two, for my step three, and my step four, which I added on the score. Now I'm talking to the patient or I'm talking to my assessor. Mrs. Sally, you are having a more score of one, and a more score of one is medium risk malnutrition, and the treatment recommendation is i'm reading everything out here is to document your dietary intake for three days if adequate little concerns and repeat screening hospital weekly care home at least monthly community at least every two to three months if inadequate clinical concerns 
follow local policy, set goals, improve and increase overall nutritional intake, monitor and review care plans regularly. Thank you. That's the end of the station. To be honest, this station should take part. Some of my students finish this station in their OSCE exam in four minutes. Don't be shocked. In four minutes. Uh, I remember one of uh, my subscribers who recently did an OSCE exam. She said to me, Nos Violet, when you say in some of your OSCE videos that OSCE is simple, that she has always doubted me. That but when she did her OSCE exam, she finished her assessments in 15 minutes. And you all know assessment in your OSCE exam is 19 to 20 minutes. So coming from somebody who recently wrote her OSCE exam and has passed, of course, that should tell you that OSCE is what is simple. So don't worry. I can't wait to congratulate you. So please give this video a like, this video a share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now take down your assignments. Mrs. Ailey Brook is a 90 years old lady who has recently suffered from respiratory breakdown. She is now very stable and healthy and is now in the care home for rehabilitation. Patient height is 1.72 meter and patient weight is 51 kg. Yes. Now, patient has lost around 4% of body weight in the last three months. So when you do this, get through to me and I'm happy to mark, of course. And um, don't forget, I'll be happy to mark if you do it. Otherwise, we'll do it when next we happen to meet like this. I'll see you in my next video. Until I see you again, keep passing your OSCE exam. I love you all and bye guys.